on this episode of Doing the Most, we are going to make mead cocktails. People have been asking for this. Yeah. Moment brews and various artists, everything from mead to rose. Big creation, fermentation, and mead creation, doing the most. I think it's a great idea. We've talked, we talked about this a long time ago. Yeah. Like, how could we mix some of these things in with other things and make new things? So, here we go. What I did, and I, I, I consulted with you on this when mm -hmm. I was putting these recipes together. What I did was I took the kind of bare bones, like bartender's friend recipes, and I found ways of utilizing mead in them maintaining basically the same proportions and i thought it would be fun to try them out and give an honest assessment and maybe at the end we'll rank them well we do have taste buds so there's that so i i'll preface this by saying we haven't made any of these yet no i mean i've definitely made mead sangria before but we haven't made any of these yet we're gonna rank them talk about them and maybe this will inspire folks out there to incorporate their mead or wine into their bar you ready? You ready for this? I mean, yeah, I guess. We got these like little regulator things he's fitting our bottles with. Maybe, hopefully they work. Have we'll, not tested. So we'll, we'll find see. out. <laughs> I've had them for a long time too and I just never used them. And so this one is a Tom Collins, which is a gin based drink, usually with some like club soda, sparkling water. Uh -huh. We're gonna sub that with the crispy hydromel. This particular batch was made with Cosmic Punch yeast, the new uh, gene edited yeast from Omega. The ingredients for the hydromel Tom Collins are two ounces of London dry gin, half an ounce of lemon juice, six ounces of semi-sweet hydromel, and garnish with a lemon wheel. So I'm gonna switch on our other camera so they can get an overhead shot of sort of our work area. And uh, we'll prep the drink and then we'll drink it. Theoretically, this should spit out one ounce at a time, right? Theoretically. Okay, well, <laughs> let's, see how, uh, let's see how this goes then. Uh, oh we yeah, we, we, need, we need our wheels. Don't cheat me here. Let me, let me hook you up, mm, man. Perfect. All right, Hydromel Tom Collins. Cheers. Skull. It's mead forward. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like mead. Lemony? There's a little bit of back end with the, with the gin. Yeah, you don't pick up too much gin in here, though. No. But I like the lemon and I like the honey in here. I mean, it helps that the Hydromel's delicious. Really good. Yeah. I would not put a juniper forward gin with that because then all you yeah. can taste is juniper. Yeah, juniper and lemon is not like a, a, a deal killer. No. But I do think it would obliterate the honey flavor. Yeah, I wouldn't use like Hendrix with that. Sizer Appletini. I don't think I've ever had an Appletini. I have definitely not ever had an Appletini. <laughs> I've been in the presence of Appletinis. We have no basis of comparison for this, but yeah, it'll probably be this fine. This has lemon juice in it, right? It does. It is two ounces of sweet sizer, one ounce of gin, half an ounce of lemon juice, and an apple slice garnish. Okay, so we need two ounces of gin. Your, your glass has more, <laughs> more of an There's a story behind why these two things exist. But <laughs> more of an inward curve. We don't curve. have time. Okay. This is still a martini glass though. It's just a Technically, old, old yes. style one. See, so a lot of people in their martini don't like these little bits of ice in there. That's I, like a faux pas. I think it's fine. I like that. Yeah, it helps yeah. keep it cooler. Especially in like a dirty martini. I could actually get behind that. I like that a lot. That's that's a lot better than the first one. Huh. The, the smokiness from mm -hmm. the smoke sizer plays really well in it here because it's diluted down a little bit. And that lemon juice gives it a real freshness. 
In a typical apple teeny, they'll have like a splash of maybe an ounce of apple juice in there. Mm -hmm. I omitted that in here because the sizer I feel yeah. like has got that big energy. No, it works though. And the gin is real subtle. This is almost, the back end of this is almost like a bourbon. Mm. Like that's pretty good. This this is pretty darn good. All right, maybe that, I'm an apple teeny guy now. I don't know about that. <laughs> Not with me. Yeah. Not whenever we go out. <laughs> You get a little bit of honey, and then it's just like smoke mm -hmm. and apple, mm -hmm. and then the very back end is all smoke. Yeah, I'm. I would be curious to see how this would go with a, a more traditional sizer that's mm -hmm. got like cinnamon, nutmeg, clove. It's gonna taste like that, based on this. Mm -hmm. No, this is tasty. Martini glasses are hard to drink out of. I'm gonna try this apple with it. Get your fiber, kids. That looks like the apples that you make apple pies out of. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what those are called. Honestly, if this is what an apple teeny is supposed to taste like, I'm on board. Maybe I should try one too. The ingredients for a Braggot beer garita are two ounces of tequila, one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of triple sec, and you will serve that over Braggot ice cubes. That's okay. where the mead comes in. So, you know, a beer garita is usually a margarita with a little bottle of beer stuck in it. Right. And the beer seeps into the margarita. Sure. This is like achieving that same thing, mm -hmm. but through the melting of the beer ice cubes. Right. Braggot ice cubes in this case. So we're gonna wanna stir that a bit before we take yeah, the Yeah, I just let it, let it sit incorporated. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. The braggot for this mm -hmm. is a braggot that our friend from Man Made Mead uh -huh. and I made in a live stream that was a braggot made with Tupelo honey, I believe, and Takis. Are you familiar with Takis? Oh my god, yeah. So Takis and lime zest with the hops went in during the boil, and then it, there wasn't enough Takis flavor, so I went ahead and put some Takis in also. Okay. Have you tasted this? Oh creation? yeah, I've, I've had it. Okay. I've, I've, had, I, I've had it a few times. Okay. It's not a bad braggot. It's just one of those like, you would, or, kind of like pickle beer, you'd yeah. order one and laugh about it and then you'd order something you really yeah. want to drink. But that's where our braggot ice cubes came from. Okay. Look at this lime. That is massive. <laughs> that is absolutely massive for a lime. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. That'll work. Yeah, you're gonna be a little more. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't call for a garnish, but when in Rome. <laughs> Maybe this is why a uh, garnish was not necessary. <laughs> it's, like it's got a long way to go. <laughs> you could have used these little glasses. I could have and should have. <laughs> Takis have a little bit of salt in them. Yeah, a, a lot, lot of salt. A lot of salt. And so this braggot was left with just a touch of salt. Okay. I mean, Which that, I think that will work. That would work. Will work with a beer garita. All right, let's find out. Let's go. That's pretty baller. It's not bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is really good, actually. All right, hold on. Let's let's make this a little bit more drinkable. Okay. It tastes like a beer garita. Yeah. It but does. actually, the beer is better incorporated mm -hmm. than some beer garitas I've had. Yeah. Which. Makes sense, right? Woo! Little heat from that tequila. Tequila, right? Yep. Right to the iron stomach. Oh yeah. I would dial back the triple sec. Think so? Because that's what that kind of thickness I think is coming from. Yeah. Or fill it up with the ice and then top it with the braggot ice and then pour everything over it and kind of let that braggot ice melt into mm -hmm. it. I think that would be, uh, that would thin it out a little bit. I see what you're saying. And you'd still get the flavor but as the ice melted, it would help thin out that triple set. I see what you're saying. It tastes I'm good. I'm fairly pleased. It, mostly I'm pleased with how hard it hits. Like it's yeah. super drinkable, so you can take a big sip and then you're like, woohoo. Like this would be an, <laughs> an right. amazing shot. Yeah, yeah. This as a shot would be really good. Yeah. For a shot, which I don't really do shots, but. Not anymore. What do we have next? Next up is a capsicumel margarita. Capsicumel is a mead made with peppers. Mm -hmm. It's we, good. We love peppers. Yeah. We both had super hot pepper <laughs> dinners right before this episode. Uh -huh. Yeah. Again, iron stomachs. Yeah. Oh, we'll see tomorrow. 
<laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> so this is a capsicumel margarita. Okay. The ingredients for this margarita are three ounces of capsicumel, uh -huh. one ounce of tequila, and one ounce of triple sec. All right. So this is the pepper zephyr capsicumel from the channel. It's the one made with pineapple and blueberry and super hot peppers. Uh -huh. Everybody loves it. It smells like candy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Hot candy. Mm -hmm. Like those little like awful strawberries for Halloween, mm -hmm. except like full of pepper, which would be yeah. pretty awesome. That's pretty good. It's a touch sweet. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, it, it performs well. The heat really just hangs in the background. It's not punching you in the face. And what's cool about like super chilling or like icing a capsimel is is you get hit with the cold and then it heats up your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of desserty a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't start the evening with this drink because of yeah. the sweetness level. It's but. kind of desserty. I I could see wanting a little bit of lemon or lime juice in there. Some I, some a little bit of acid to cut that sweet. If you're kind of going after like a digestif or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that, you probably would just leave it as is. No, it's not bad. I don't hate it. I think I prefer the beer garita version. Uh, probably. Now, if you had a really hot, like we could try this. If you had a really hot capsicumel. Okay. I'm just saying, like, yeah. it, it might be the type of thing where this, a really hot capsicumel works. Oh, like, oh, I know what this is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got this you. This is just uh, very hot vodka. Yeah. But if you had a capsicum ale that had some fire to it, because mine is pretty tame. No, it is. I can see it building on you. That that wakes it up a lot. So I think, yeah, maybe a more fiery capsicum ale. That's really good. Would would play yeah. even better in this recipe. No, I like it. That helps. So a little bit more heat. The heat just keeps bringing it back. Yeah. Now that I, we added. I that. think there is a lot of promise for this concept. Oh yeah, for sure. Based on what capsicum ale you're bringing to the table. <laughs> right, yeah. This looks like a nightmare. <laughs> like, here's how I do the bar at my house. What would you like? Okay, blug, glug, ice, whatever, yeah. <laughs> done. This is a lot of ingredients. This is the bad mead sangria. So you make some mead. Yeah. It's not very good. You label it with duct tape. <laughs> it's drinkable. Bad, but drinkable. Okay. But you don't really want to just like pour glasses of it. What are you doing? You make sangria. Sure. You know, you got two buck chuck. Don't want to drink it? Make sangria. You got bad mead? Make sangria. Okay. So this is a complex process. It appears to be based on this card I have not seen. <laughs> so your ingredients for bad mead sangria are one cup chopped blueberries, one cup chopped strawberries, one chopped and zested orange, a half a cup of sugar, and eight ounces of brandy. So okay. all that fruit gets macerated with the sugar, uh -huh. all the juices run off of it uh -huh. over the course of several hours. You pour the juice off, rinse off the fruit pulp with brandy to get all the rest of the sugars off. All that gets strained and becomes this. So glad that is already done. Yeah, I did that this morning. And then you'll need 750 milliliters of bad mead and 12 ounces of club soda or sparkling water. So we already did all the macerating and the mm -hmm. straining, etc. That's in here. Okay. And we've got our 750 mils of bad mead. We've got some sparkling water. So what we need to do is mix those up. Is that vessel enough to handle all of the liquid no, required? But because I've been binge watching Julia Child, Aha. I am prepared. Bad mead sangria. Sangria is a good way of getting rid of bad homebrew. That's a great way to get rid of bad wine, so I don't know like why this yeah. would be any different. It's sugar, it's brandy. Yeah. 
mint, yeah, it kind of just smells like sangria. That's the goal. <laughs> Hopefully it's very orangey. That that orange and that orange zest, I'm hoping really permeate. It smells like this orange. Recipe. Some recipes call for like apples or mm -hmm. pomegranate, stuff like that. I mean, I really, what, what I've always considered sangria, and I don't want to offend anyone, but at home I call it trash can punch. Because <laughs> it's, it's, like it's basically like, hey, I have all this extra stuff. Let's mix it together yeah. and drink it. And put, a, put some fresh fruit in there and hope yeah, for the best. Exactly. All right, let's 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 dive in. It's soft. It's soft. It's very sweet. Like, if you told me there was vanilla in there, I might believe you. This flavor has to be coming from the brandy that we're tasting. Oh, yeah. Smell that. That's where that vanilla is coming from. Oh, yeah. Like, absolutely. Yeah, it like, smells real soft. Yeah. Yeah. That's where that's coming from. Okay. Because so, that's what I was confused. I'm like, I know this is not coming from a fruit, so <laughs> yeah. where... So oak vanillins. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's sangria. It's like you said, it's trash can punch. <laughs> it's it's taking a bad mead and turning it into something palatable yeah. so you can make it go away. But I mean, it's good. And honestly, you could serve this warm as well. As like a holiday, yeah. cheerful, if you have a cold and you're like, oh. my throat's a little scratchy. Like it does not taste like cough syrup, but I feel like it would coat yeah. and like kind of soothe. No, you're throat. right. Put it in a mug. Yeah. And like drink it hot, just little sips to and break if, some of that stuff up. If you wanted to break this up, you could put like, you could put this in with like hot black tea. Oh. And what's weird is it's very orange forward in the, in the nose. It's a zest, man. And then you drink it and it's like, Mm. The smoothest thing, and it is really velvety. From a complexity standpoint, this is pretty good. Yeah. From a my preference, it's fine. I mean, but like I but said, I don't really like sangria. If so. you went to a backyard barbecue and this was like in a big punch bowl, and this was all that's available, oh, I'd get drunk. Yeah. It'd be you fun. go for it. We have one more to get to. We have one that I'm pretty sure is going to be my favorite. I think this is the on one my... that we've both been looking forward to. Okay, I think this is everything. We've really cleared out. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think it's going good. <laughs> the recipe you've all been waiting for. The one I've been waiting for. You know, he and I are both whiskey drinkers. Mm -hmm. What's when If you're just like ordering whiskey at the bar, mm -hmm. which brand? Like right, just some random bar and I just something I know they're gonna have. Something you know they're gonna have. Either bullet or maker's mark. I was gonna say makers, yeah. So we love we love whiskey. Yeah. A, a Manhattan is just such a lovely way to enjoy whiskey, especially if you're not a whiskey person. Yes. Because it, it kind of glitzes, it, it mm -hmm. polishes uh, what for some people may be a harsh drink in a way right. that that softens the edges a little bit. Right. Yeah? I agree. It depends on the whiskey. I mean, I whenever lately whenever I get a Manhattan, I've been using Bullet, which is a little more forward. Mm -hmm. It's not harsh, but it's more forward in its like whiskey flavor. Mm -hmm. But this is more of an experience to like see what we get yeah, out yeah. of that. There's but. there's it's a 2 to 1 ratio bourbon to Acer Glen and this yeah. Acer Glen presents real well. Cool. So. All right, so we're gonna try Old Granddad in this, but yeah, I think I think my recommendation would probably be Makers. The ingredients for an Acer Glen Manhattan are two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of Acer Glen, two dashes of bitters, and a maraschino cherry to garnish. How much bitters? Two dashes, so four total. Four dashes. How about I go ahead and get these uh, maraschino cherries out of here? Seems reasonable. Have you seen those ones that are green? Yeah, I haven't tried them. Have you tried them? No, I'm sure they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they could be good. You don't know. It's a lot true. of green foods know. are tasty. Ecto cooler. Mmm. Surge. None of those count as a food. <laughs> oh yeah, that got. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll just do it this way. It's all good. Maybe next time we'll go for the stainless steel and glass. <laughs> next time, just let me know. I'll, I'll Are you gonna strain that? I'll bring something over. Yeah, I gotta out, get man. this off though, because it is like hard locked on there. Do you, do you need a? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, do you recall your first legal drink? Yes, actually. Well, I what do. was it? Uh, it was a um, it was a White Russian in the Bellagio in Las Vegas. A White Russian. 
Yeah. Okay, you're gonna strain it from the side. Okay. I have this to. Is, this is bougie. This is done. Okay. <laughs> that is like, it is locked on there. You're gonna have to put it in the washing machine or something to get it out. The washing machine. I'm no, sorry. Maybe I'll put it in the dryer. We've had some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> A white Russian and the Bellagio in Vegas. Yep. Mine was an espresso martini at okay. an, I think it was an Applebee's. Okay. In Tulsa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at my old timey fancy glass. I love it. Like you could put like three quarters of a beer in this one. This is big. <laughs> Honestly, might need more Acer Glen. Yeah, let's try that. So there's way too much bitters in there. Like way too much. Like that is. That's that's what every common recipe calls for is two Well, then it's something in the. Usually a Manhattan's just Boop. a touch sweeter than that. Give me a half an ounce there. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It's not gross, it's just... Honestly, it tastes like a Manhattan. Mm. It's just not... In, in, it's not in any way like a mind-blowing Manhattan. Are I'm you not, drinking I'm, the same thing that I'm drinking? Hold I'm on. not like walking up and tipping the bartender in cash. There's something disturbing in that disturbing yeah not like it's not disgusting but it's it's too much bitters there's okay too there's too much bitters in there let's remake it tell me this recipe for a, for a one one cocktail again single cocktail two ounce bourbon one ounce one and a quarter ounce acer glen one dash of bitters maraschino cherry garnish okay I think this is going to taste much better, personally. I believe in you, man. Maraschino cherries are pretty good. <laughs> Did you just eat yours out of that? Else. No, I ate one of the jar. Uh, okay. All right. Of that one. Cheers right. to hope. Success. Only success. It already smells better. That's a lot better. It's a more pleasant experience. Yeah. I want more maple. This is not bad. No. This is way better than the first run. Yeah, I and almost want to know what it. I, I'm not gonna have you make another one. That's fine. But I almost want to know what it would be like with like a half an ounce of maple syrup in there too. Oh, we don't have to do that. That bottle is done anyway, right? Yeah. There's still ice in here. I'll show you how I would just like free this at home. <laughs> like just like make something, right? A little, little freestyle. <laughs> yeah. not worth it. It's the best $7 I've ever <laughs> spent. Check out the link in the description <laughs> for where you can acquire. Maybe you should link uh, a different one. Yeah, I will. I'll link to a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you should, because this thing sucks. It's part of the charm. Oh, yeah. I love, I love driving home covered in bourbon. <laughs> Round three. No recipe. It's still not there. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, this one's a... Yeah, the whole, I mean, I don't like any of them, honestly. Yeah, Acer Glen Manhattan. It's just not working. It must have something to do with how that Acer Glen's mixing with the, with the bourbon. I think this is still my favorite one out of the three we tried, but it's I think fine. overall, I don't think this is a good idea. It's fine. And that's, that's as far as I go, is it's fine. This is where we rank our favorites. Okay, well, this one can like go like, you know. <laughs> that's this. That doesn't even really deserve to be okay. up here. Because the other ones were actually pretty good. They each had like positive merits. I think we can probably agree in some areas. This is kind of where I'm feeling. I agree. I would put the apple teeny at the top actually, I think. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, because it's more expressive and less, I think it's more expressive. Less basic. Well, I do think that the and this this has to do with the style of braggot that you made. Mm -hmm. I think it's too salty on its own. Um, okay. I mean, I'm gonna open one for you before you leave. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be very salty. If this was no a surprise. So these to me. two were really good. Mm -hmm. 
I don't. I haven't had an apple teeny in my life. I. I mean, yeah. I really don't think Same. I have. Same. It, if I, I did, it was not memorable at all. Why would I order one when there exactly. are every other option? Like a Manhattan. <laughs> Our ranking for the recipes presented in today's video are number one, Sizer Appletini. Number two, Braggett Beer Garita. Three, Capsicamel Margarita. Number four, Bad Mead Sangria. Five, Hydromel Tom Collins. And coming in last place. In no the matter, trash can. No matter how hard we tried. Yeah, we did. Acer Glen, Manhattan. And we're probably still gonna drink this, but <laughs> it's not what you want. Well, if anything, I think we've learned valuable lessons. And we've 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 picked up some good intel. Hopefully, mm -hmm. folks out there will be inspired to create their own cocktail recipes. I would love to go to this video and scroll through the comments and find anything, links to whatever, mm -hmm. or just recipes that you guys have figured out for some of these different mead styles. Because I I like cooking mm -hmm. and I like making drinks. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be very interested to see kind of like what everyone's favorites are. Dude, I'm with you. I, in the comments, if you've got a mead or wine. Yeah, for sure. A cocktail recipe, let us know in the comments. Or if you have ideas. Yeah. This is a video that has been asked about a lot. A lot of people have asked for this video. And um, I don't see any reason why we couldn't do uh, part two. Yeah. You can follow us on any of the things, social media, website, Twitch, all of that. And thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe. Subscribe. Is it uh, over here? It's, it's down in the middle. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Click the subscribe button and uh, click that notification bell to hear when we have new videos coming out. They come out every Friday. Thank you <laughs> for coming and drinking through six different cocktails tonight. Uh -huh. Just an average Thursday. Just a typical Thursday night. Yeah, for sure. And... Um, Stay frosty. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, I'm just a dude that lives in Oklahoma City. What do I have to say? It's about to get frosty. There's a cold front coming through next week. Oh, I know. And I think it might be winter. Perfect. That Cheers. is the bombshell. That is great. Cheers. <laughs>